So I want to talk about um, grains. Grains are seeds of grasses. Okay, so you have you have the grass, which is the plant, the vegetables, and then you have the seed that that turns into this vegetable. Well, out of all the things that are full of nutrition and void of nutrition, the grain is not very nutritious, uh, believe it or not, especially if it's been refined or milled or ground down. But grains, when they are s sprouted to four days old, um, a plant, like you have these little sprouts that you can get at the health food store, um, they go, they, there's nutrition increases by 4,000%. So when you consume grains, you don't get a lot of nutrition. Okay, especially if they're, there's some nutrition initially when you grind the grain, but the nutrition lasts, it gets oxidized by oxygen, but within six days it's gone. And how many people make their own bread? So here we have some bread here. And this is whole wheat bread. And whole wheat bread obviously is better than white bread, right? But they, if, you do, if it's not organic, they spray this with four times the bug sprays. Yeah, so you'd be better off eating the white bread. Um, so you have white bread, which is basically just uh, good, good for um, um, adding water into it and mixing into this ball and picking up glass. That's about the benefit of white bread. Um, or you can have little fights with people like rocks or something when you let it go hard. But again, I, I'm, I'm actually, I don't want you to eat bread. I don't want you to eat bread right now. We're going to put this to the side because it's, we're trying to get nutrition and we don't want to add a starch. Plus, this is a refined carbohydrate and it can turn into sugar at a certain rate. Obviously not as high as sugar, but it's still a starchy thing that can put weight on you. Okay, So if you're addicted to bread you're deficient in B vitamins. And if you take a B vitamin, make sure that it's not synthetic. Most B vitamins are synthetic. But when you eat refined carbohydrates like bread or pasta or cereal or crackers or biscuits or waffles, that depletes B vitamins. Okay, So it depletes B vitamins. And the B vitamin is very important in the cardiovascular system, especially to prevent arrhythmias and heart problems. So a lot of heart problems come from eating too much grain, refined grain, all right? So then we have this thing right here called Ezekiel bread. Now, if you have children, this is what you want to give your kids. I know you probably would like to have some too, but why don't we focus on losing weight first and then once you're in the fat burning mode, see how much of this you can get away with a couple times a week if you want a healthy bread. Ezekiel bread, this one is, um, I think this one is cinnamon raisin. Um, it's high, it's sprouted bread. So it's all alive. That's why it's not even cooked. It's actually uh, sprouted. So it, you want to keep it in the freezer and keep it frozen until you're ready to eat it. And then you would slightly um, toast it or just eat it thawed out. But this has a lot of nutrition compared to this because this is sprouted. Sprouted means you take the seed and it grows into this little tiny plant, plant this baby little uh, sprout, and then they make bread out of it. This, they just take the grain and grind it. And it sits, the flour sits, sits on the shelf for about six months to a year. So there's not a lot of nutrition in there. I mean, look, go to the aisle, go to the um, store and look down the aisle of all the pasta. I mean, you know how long that's been sitting there? I mean, a long time. And you're going to eat that? So um, this is fresh. That's why it's frozen. So that's why it goes bad really quick. See, the reason why we're, we've made these foods is they're to preserve them so they won't go bad, so they can sit on the shelf. All this canned food and pasteurization, where you kill the food, the nutrition. So we're going to raw. We're going to live foods. We're going to high-density nutrient foods. So on my site, I have a lot of recipes. There's an onion cracker to die for. I mean, it's just onions uh, dehydrated. It tastes great. It's like a cracker. So there's a lot of things that you can do. So um, I hope this helped. Um, stay on track. And um, good job so far.